Well, welcome back to the 30 day challenge. Uh, today's video, we're gonna be talking about the five knots. You should probably know if you're a crappie angler, these are the knots you're gonna use the most depending on what style of fishing. Um, so yeah, let's just walk through what they are and how to tie them on. Knot number one is the loop knot. Go ahead, slide your first jig up your line and just kind of let it slide up the line for a second. And then we're gonna take our second jig, put it through the tag end just tie a simple loop knot. You're just going to double back your tag end to your main line. Pinch it together, flip it over once, maybe twice, three times, doesn't really matter, but it creates this loop here. And you're going to put the full jig head through that loop like that. Now, if you want a smaller loop, you're going to pull on your main line, or your, I'm sorry, your tag end line, and then your main line. That'll create a smaller loop. There you go. Yeah, it's about three quarters inch away from that jig and now you're gonna clip it. I've done a number of videos with this knot, both the single jig and the double jig setups. Great, great knot to, to know if you're a crappie fisher. And basically this knot allows you uh, to get extra movement on your jig. You know, when you're vertical jigging or you're casting or even if you're dock shooting, it gives a little extra action to that jig to help trigger a bite. Knot number two is the Snell knot. For those of you that fish with an Aberdeen hook, live minnow slip bobber setups. I actually just did a video on this. Uh, but this is how you tie a snell knot and it's super important to understand that the snell knot just gives you that little bit of extra leverage to help get that hook up into the fish's mouth when you're using a live minnow setup but here's how you tie it on well you're going to take the line you're going to put it through the eyelet the opposite way of the point of the hook okay so the point of the hook is over here i'm taking the tag line and bring it the other way i'm going to pull out like four to five inches and what you're going to do is you're going to pinch that line just as the the hook starts to bend you're gonna pinch it together with the shaft of the hook. You're gonna take that tag end, and then you're gonna wrap around both the uh, shaft of the hook and that line that you have pinched, and you wrap it four or five times. Now I'm gonna pinch all that wrapped line together, and if you notice, there's a loop right on the bend of the hook there that we created from all this wrapping. I'm gonna take the tag end and bring it right back through that loop. I'm slowly pull the line tight. You want to keep those loops that you wrapped around the shaft of the hook below the eyelet of the hook. So you kind of pull it together and then it just slides up right beneath the eyelet of the hook. And there you go. The next knot is a uni knot. Um, this knot you can use to tie two lines together. Um, you could also use it to tie on a hook. Uni knot is also great for a uh, slip stop. So if you don't have a like a rubber bobber stop or those pre-tied yarn knots for a slip bobber, the uni knot is great if you got braided line or any type of fishing line. You just tie on the uni knot onto the line that you're fishing with. Onto the, for me, it's an eight foot ACC. It's my slip bobber setup. Uh, but that acts as a slip stop. It's a great knot to use. Uh, so be sure to understand how to tie it on and definitely use it in a pinch when you're slip bobber fishing. So the next knot is the Albright knot or the, I've heard it called the crazy Alberto knot. Uh, this knot truly is the tying braid to monofilament or tying braid to fluorocarbon, uh, some sort of leader. I, I typically see this a lot with crappie fishermen who are fishing the slip bobber setup. They're using a braided setup, a um, little bit bigger of a bobber with that metal grommet, but they don't want a straight braid to their jig or to the Aberdeen hook if they're using live minnows. So this is how you tie this knot on, tying two lines together. And last but certainly not least, one of the uh, probably most famous fishing knots, it is called the Fisherman Knot, or that's a nickname for it. It's the Improved Clinch Knot is its technical name. Uh, this knot, you can pretty much tie any lure or hook or jig to. Uh, it's a great knot. Probably the first knot I learned how to tie. It can be a little complicated, especially if your eyesight's going on you. So if you're a little older, you got the eyesight problem. I don't know if I'd go with this knot, but it's still a really good knot to know tie pretty much any lure or hook to your line. Here's how you tie it on. So those are the five knots that uh, I'd recommend you know in order to crappie fish. Those are all great knots to have, either tying something to your jig or tying two lines together for a slip bobber approach or you're just tying a braid line to some sort of leader. Those are the five knots that I would highly recommend you know. Now, the one knot I didn't say so far is the Palomar knot. Pretty straightforward. Bit, plenty of videos on that, but 
Other than that, if you have a knot that you'd recommend people understand, post in the comment section below. If you got any comments or questions, post them in the comment section as well. Uh, if you, you can also message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always appreciate hearing from you. Hope you're enjoying the 30-day challenge. More to come in the next one. We'll see you.